Okay, Sanji baby, this is my third video because the energy has shifted. And it hasn't really shifted that much. Because you're working your ass off manifesting in Virgo energy, good judgment, because you have no clarity about this twin flame connection. This fallen angel want to come to you in boss energy. Like they got stability, security. But they still have some things they need to develop that has nothing to do with money. So all this time, this person was sitting back thinking about a better lie, a better way to be sneaky. But they couldn't. That's why all this time has passed. Okay. Transformation is back, friend. You're not in any fucking regret. You're seeing the positive things in life, and you stick it to it just like these people are sticking to your energy with their pages, trying to act like they're bosses, trying to act like they you, because you're in your masculine energy and you're balanced. So, this person wants to marry you because they know you deserve it, or you are wifey, husband, material. And they know that they should have offered you that, right? They wanted you to fight with a karmic. They were trying to set up for you and a karmic to go back and forth with each other. That's not happening. So now this person knows that you're not just some average hood rat that they are already with. So the problem is, is if you was to marry this person or marry a narcissist, that do not like authority figures. If this person been in prison or they don't follow the rules, right? They could be antisocial, which means it's not, it doesn't mean that they don't like people. A lot of people think that antisocial means when you refuse to do what the normal people do in society. That's why your ass is a felony. A felony, felonies really don't have any rights because they told the universe, they told the world, the law, I'm not going to listen to you no matter what. So that's what they told you. And they knew the ultimate betrayal was them showing you that they could be with other people or are cheating on you. That's what they purposely wanted to do. They purposely wanted to make you jealous. Well, you don't have a jealous bone in your body. You probably grew up with attractive people that you don't, that's why you don't hate. You don't want to hang with anything. Doesn't matter if they're attractive or not. If you would have married this person, every time they seen someone that they want to compare you to like they treating this karmic, pillow talking shit, they would have resented you. Because you would have been an authority figure. They would have had to apply with some kind of rules. And that is of a relationship of a marriage. They don't like authority figures. So whenever they want to go be on the down low, whenever they seen somebody at the store they want to holler at, they going to get mad at you because they can't go holler at someone else. You could... Or you probably had a beautiful home, had your shit together with this person, and they would risk all that just to get some attention. That's why their asses are unbalanced and they falling. Because the only difference is, is that now they want your attention. You know, this little page. Or you could have a, they could have a kid, or you could have a kid that's holding on to you, that cherishes you. Regardless of this relationship shit, maybe that's being your motivation. Maybe it is. It should be. So, yes. I want to check this energy because I feel like uh, even if you do marry this person or if you was to, they would have just resented you the whole fucking relationship. If you would have told them something they didn't like. Because remember, this person thought they was changing you. That you was trying to change them. And you wasn't. This person said you was gold digging all kind of shit. All the shit they are. So now this person needs to clear your name and they not going to do that. You're not going to be in no secret relationship because they been talking shit about your back and don't know, won't nobody know. Come on, man. This karmic, they went bitching to this karmic, and all they did, the karmic fell for the game. They was bitching about what they not getting. They probably exaggerated about what they did for you, and this karmic was like, I could do better. I would try to uh, do better than that other person, and that's all game. 
This person didn't do half the shit they said for you. Yeah, you have no clarity on this honeymoon, but also spirits say you need to let go of control issues. Yeah, transaction is the passion. God is to make this bitch have more understanding in a deeper future thinking. You have future thinking. Sagittarius, you have been the motherfucking magician. You not playing game. What's your motherfucking game? You not participating with a rat and fucking roach. What's your power? Because it's easier not to play games. It's easier to just go on with your fucking life. We get that. We don't have to sit. Time is important. Think about the time you have to think about what you're going to wear, let alone sitting with a bunch of bitches gossiping about a lie. That this, not only did this person tell themselves, but they told this fucking karmic, this bitch that has no mind of their own. Now they all unbalanced. Right, your person trying to get into some boss energy to match you. They just not getting on it. You didn't burn rubber on this person. They not getting it. They too much thinking they the shit or thinking the twin flame thing was going to keep you. So this person would have just resented you, compared you to other people. And when they wouldn't be able to do what they want to do, you was going to be the motherfucker to pay for it. You was going to be the one. They trash was going to be dumped on. When they seen a better car, when they seen someone more successful, they going to blame who? You. Because this person is jealous. So 9 out of 10, the people they choose to be in relationship with and the people they choose to hang around ain't shit. And they're not going to be better than them. Your person going around picking people apart. They going around trying to see who's dysfunctional and who's not when they the motherfuckers that's dysfunctional and why they have dysfunctional friends. This person had bad judgment. So I don't know why for some of y'all would think that this person would have better judgment later on in life if you know half their life, they have not made the right decisions. This person would have just resented you for making them do the right thing. You know, not having to die alone, you know, having somebody there when they get old, you know, fixing their meals, supporting them. Yeah, they wouldn't have appreciated that. Yeah, this person don't want to release you. They came in reverse on this Scorpio. They going through a transition. God has to show them how to be more passionate when it comes to people. This falling ass flame. They haven't let release your ex. They want to release their ex. Make the effort. Because you've already released them. Look at this. <laughs> they already falling. They already going to come to you with some shit again, friend, to remind you why you're not there. So you know you're not the problem. Oh, you're better than what they got. You was better than what they had. That's why they was in your face in the fucking. Some of these, some of uh, some of these people didn't even tell you they were dealing with someone else because they know fucking better. Some of these people you haven't seen because they they know that they wish some piece of shit. This woman probably know where you live. They know your they know where they know your twin flame know where you live, <laughs> and that bitch ain't knocked on your door because they know they gonna get their asses whooped. From what they have observed from you, you ain't no scary motherfucker. You know, they want to get rowdy and they want to talk shit, but now you in the mix and nobody has shit to say, nothing but crickets. Walk that bitch like a dog. You walk these motherfuckers like a dog when you did not participate. Your game was no game. You know it's more easier to just mind your business, having to go back to the draw board, having to stop them and see if it worked. Man, ain't nobody got time for that, and that's why time has passed. Now you have an idea of how much time these people, and they have an idea of how much time they wasted fucking with you, coming for you. Yeah, you paid attention to the red flags, and you put the work on them hoes. They ain't in regret. They want to leave their ex. Let, uh, let your friends help you. That's what they doing. Because they're not happy in this relationship. They're trying to develop some new skills. Or they try to. Yeah, they stand optimistic. 
So this person feel felt like, yeah, I might not get the collective, but at least I have my my uh back burner. At least I have my doormat. You know, the one they wasn't happy with before. Yeah, they, at least they have that. And that dumb bitch stuck around just to be that. Uh, plan C. Because most of the time when people cheat, they have a the woman or the man that, that that make them look like they normal. And then they go cheat because they uh treating that person they're in a real relationship with like a mom and dad. So nobody's attracted to their moms and dads. That's why you cannot act like these people moms and dads. That shit is a turn off. That shit is a turn off for you. So that's why they go and find a woman or a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Because you're like mom and dad. And then they meet people at the car store. They meet people at work. And that's the third parties. And those parts just keep switching. And don't let it be a stupid bitch that's down to be a side piece. Or a dude that think he's so cool. And that's what dudes do. Because he can't turn down no pussy. Now he over there looking stupid. Or don't let them be in the proud community thinking that they changing straight men gay. When they ass is just getting used like a fucking object. Or turning straight women gay. When your ass is going to get used like a fucking object. Release your ex. They need to release their ex. That's the transformation they're going to have to go through. They're going to make them have passion, look deeper. Now they're going to want to reconcile with you. But the offer is gone. What offer is being, what offer or opportunity is being presented to you that you may not be recognizing? Now they recognize it. This bitch, that mean this bitch wasn't in regret about you. This person broke out you because they thought they was better than you. Yeah, waiting in reverse, but they holding on to your energy. But you about to get married. Yeah, this came in reverse, heart to heart talk. You don't want that. You don't want this because I had earlier third parties in reverse in communication. You don't want to sit there and pillow talk and gossip with this fucking sissy. Don't matter if it's a girl or a man. You don't want to sit with this fucking sissy and do the shit they did with this karmic. Fuck you think this is. You know where they do that shit at. And that's why you took made them go back. Yeah, you're not calling in your soul, soulmate, but you damn sure calling in your honeymoon. <sighs> this bitch didn't want to give you no clarity. They can keep it. And they never had to. So all this time, they thought they even, not only was they, they thought they had a lot of time, all this time, they thought that you was waiting. They thought they could make a decision. They thought they had a decision to make. Bitch, you don't have a choice. It takes two, baby. Me and you are not connecting. And it ain't even taking two for you and this fucking karmic. Y'all both crash fucking dummies. So nobody wanted, they didn't want to give you no clarity on this honeymoon. They didn't want to communicate. They want to sit back and act like they got shit under control, looking stupid. Yeah, no connection. Again, friend, it's not happening. They don't want to release their ex. They don't have to. I don't see why they even feel like they have a decision to make and why would they go back to the same friends that gave them the wrong information to get them the right this time and ain't shit manifested. They stuck with their ex. And then they going to be stuck with another bitch or man they don't want to be with. No, it's a no for the honey, honey, honey. You don't have to put in your effort. You can go home. Lily, get the shotgun like on Norbert. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this contract. And he wiped his ass with it. I love that shit. That shit was epic. He jumped on that table and said, Lily, get the shotgun. <laughs> Lily, we got that motherfucker. Let me tell you. <laughs> Yes, red flags. You moving on, sailing the fuck on. You're not connecting with this person? Yeah, 
Guess what? They're not a narcissist. They're acting like a narcissist. If you grew up with a person that's bipolar or schizo, you will develop those character traits. And if they grew up with someone, grandma or someone was bipolar or a sibling or someone, you will pick up the trait. So this person, you, been raised around a narcissist. And maybe they have, but they didn't get the desert, the discernment to, and they do have it. And this is a beautiful fucking thing that they're acting like a narcissist, which means they are emotionally developed to feel the shit they put themselves in. Maybe this karmic and these other motherfuckers don't get it, but they don't feel the burn. They letting their friends help them try to manage some shit. Yeah, but they not taking their really advice. But they still going around the people placing things that has distracted them from making from making a move. Fuck making the right decisions. You want to know this person how to make moves on their own. It ain't about all just trust. You don't want to have to babysit or wonder if they know what the fuck they're doing. You don't want to have to go check up on the hoe to make sure she got it right. You don't need two of you. You might as well do shit on your own. Hello, Earth energy coming through. Yeah, this person's not cautious with their heart. Anybody can have that shit. Anybody can marry this person that looks like they have material gain, but they don't. <laughs> like the karmic thought, probably they were going to get married, and they probably was. <laughs> That's probably why they're in the marriage energy. You probably told this person or came off like a married uh, husky wifey material, right? You probably mentioned it to them, but you didn't say it was going to be them. They probably thought with their ego that, oh, she want to marry me. Oh, uh, what about marriage? They was already in a marriage that they weren't happy with, so they dare sure wasn't going to jump in another one or uh, was in a relationship like a marriage or they had a bitch of a karmic that was trying to make them marry them. They got tired of them roaching and ratting, right? So she wants to marry this roaching rat. This person wants to come to you with that 3D shit. They, they probably had good intentions, remember, when they went to the karmic. But they wanted to be in the 3D. They look for someone they could cheat and be like these other low vibrational motherfuckers in their environment. So while you're at a high class job or you're around some higher class people that don't even have this shit in their relationships, you know it's possible to be in a real fucking relationship or you've been in a real relationship where you didn't have all this fucking drama. Yeah, be patient. Let this person have a heart to heart talk with you. <laughs> Let them think they got the skills. Crush their asses all over again if you have to. But this bitch got a lot to prove to you. Yeah, they gonna feel the pain. Let's roast the ass. This blue jean dress and this goddamn lights on. Yeah. They gonna be jealous. Because they ain't give you no clarification. They too jealous of you. You can have a lot of motherfuckers jealous of you. That's not giving you your props. That's why that's coming in reverse. Yeah. They don't have... You have all your information that this person is not manifesting. And that they didn't relieve their ex even if they want to. <coughs> and they still gonna feel the burn. I wanna tell you this. I had a reader come to me. Yeah. They over there unbalanced because they're an energy vampire. Uh-huh. That's why it's a no. And they're with the energy vampire. <laughs> okay, so I had this reader. They was uh, he came and got a reading from me, and he kept in his reading said he gonna meet the Sagittarius and his overall energy was things are blocked out of his reality. And I think the reality is, and I think this is going to help you when you go get an energy read, if you are attracted to the energy reader, they'll come up in your energy. So it said he was going to meet a Sagittarius. And at the top of that, it said 
something's out of reality with this person. So I was trying to give him an idea of his life, but what's really out of reality is that he's only, because he came in reverse. He's been coming in my readings. He keep coming in reverse, but sometimes he come upright, a king of wands in reverse, because he travels and he's probably fucking different bitches in different states and still doing nasty shit. So what's blocked out his reality is that he's probably not all anything to lose. He doesn't get why he's meeting these people and he's going to keep doing it. And I feel like what's blocked out, because he said an energy reader already told me he was going to meet a Sagittarius or a, I say you're going to meet an air or fire sign. But the thing is, I don't think a, I don't think it's good to be predicting that kind of information, but some people are good like that. But the point is, he probably didn't get that. The reason why he keep getting the Sagittarius he's going to meet is because she's going to Sagittarius women getting readings that he has a crush on, which I've already talked about him, how I heard his name on another girl, reader. She mentioned him in her live. So I'm like, you're going to, he's, he's missing the message. He's only watching the people he's attracted to. He's not watching for the right fucking reason. And even if the attraction is there, he's still not there for the right fucking reasons. And he gave me two confirmations. One, on when I picked up and did his reading. Two, is when he tried to hit me up. Somebody, he, i like, well, who the fuck requires a reading from someone they don't know? 12 o'clock at night, i be up. And now you talking about on my comments, you come to Houston. I don't give a fuck. You can get ran the fuck over on your way here. You're not going to meet no motherfucking Sagittarius. <laughs> you needed a Sagittarius to put your ass in your reality. If he's watching this, say the fuck out of my comments. These people are giving you no clarity. Fuck you getting an injury from me if you already go to somebody. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm not a motherfucking simp. These people know you just them. You don't want to be around motherfucker. You can't even sleep around or be happy around because you're scared they're going to try to hurt you. Yeah, you're not a fucking narcissist. You're rare. That's why this person wants a reconciliation with you. They see you don't give a fuck. They see you doing what's more important. You're not putting your feelings above your fucking decisions. You're being logical. You're going with facts. They showed you they wasn't shit and that was a fact. So it's a fact that you must move the fuck on. Yeah, you about to get that money. All that intuition is booming. Yeah, they letting their friends help them. They so fucking desperate. They letting their other narcissistic friends help them. Have several seats, all you hoes. Yeah, they letting their friends help them. Love and gaslight try to pop out on this earth energy. Earth water. Yeah, you one deep. Are they doing things? They trying to stay optimistic when they one deep while they in this shitty relationship. No equal give and take. So even when they watch your readings, even when they go to reason and watch it, they all mesmerize on thinking that you miss them because these fucking readers are saying, oh, they miss you, Sagittarius. They can't do this without you. Who gives a fuck? So now this person head is getting bigger. They steady taking, taking, taking from you. They steady sitting back taking. Even if they stalking you, they don't get that they're steady taking. And they ain't doing shit. Stupid bitch. <laughs> you ugly motherfucker. Shallow as fuck, man. They taking, taking, taking. They not cautious with their heart. So they getting trash. They getting breadcrumbs. Yeah, they're trying to use their good for evil. they not getting no love message. Don't nobody give a fuck about them. They ain't got no fucking money coming in. This fucking page that now nah, they want to be patient and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. But I hope you have it, and I hope you let me know how it goes. Because this energy was juicy. Now, let's talk about that money, honey. Let's end it with their money. Let's give them an idea if you want to share this video. Billy Badass, she ain't too fucking bad. He ain't too motherfucking bad, I promise you. Your game is playing no game. And your ass the magician. 
They probably think you putting magic on them. You, they are, they will never be that motherfucking important where you would dress or try to impress a bunch of no fucking bodies. You probably dress to impress people that know how to dress to impress because that's where your level is. Fuck you mean. That's what we do, honey. Honey, honey. They gonna be jealous so that money. You about to switch up your whole shit. Yeah, you about to switch it up. What this fallen angel's gonna get? They about to get a change in their motherfucking life. She's about to change. These motherfuckers thought you was a simp. You went the fuck on. Saving your money. Getting your new asset. On motherfucking payday, you're going to be happy. Or you might be getting a lawsuit or something. Don't overspend. You have a habit of that. But you say, too, it's going to probably come digitally. Or it's going to hit that motherfucking deposit when you call and check. Yeah. Yeah, you got deadlines to meet. What did I say? You don't have time for this bullshit. When you see my video, you went on because you have a life to live. You went on because you have shit to do. Yeah, unexpected expenses is coming. Unexpected um, expenses you're going to have. Or is this them? Let's see. Yeah. I feel like this person that want to reconcile with you. That's what this fell on. They gonna be an unexpected expense. And they probably think they gonna get some kind of loan from you. Huh. Not happening. It's about to be a change in this motherfucker. Yeah, they putting in the overtime on you. That's what this big in there came on to me. That's probably who you about to meet. With these people in reverse and this twin flame shit in reverse. Yeah, you working on your money. I told you, you wasn't trying to be mean to this person. They shallow. They don't know if they want to be you. Yeah, making huge decisions. They can't do it. Because they're not cautious. They don't know how to come at you. They have no emotional intelligence. Yeah, they, they holding on to you, though. Looking stupid. Not doing nothing. And this is what happens when you think too much and you don't do shit. You've been thinking, this person been thinking and thinking. You've been thinking, but you have to do something if you know you're in a twin flame connection. You cannot overthink. And that person, and because that wastes time. You have to trust yourself and go with it. Thrive off that shit. Get happy now when these people lie to you or you catch them lying. You didn't waste no more of your fucking time. You didn't give away shit to a bunch of ungrateful ass bitches. I've saved so much fucking money not dealing with these ungrateful ass nieces and nephews and bitches that think that they cause they fucked this up. I should give a fuck about what comes out of it. Fuck that. What did I say? They're going to want to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk to you and they're going to have some kind of receipt to prove to you that they've changed. So that's on you. But yes, honey, honey, if you want to do an injury with me, let me know. Especially when they hit you up. I'm here for you, $20, PayPal or Cash App. Like and subscribe. And I really do appreciate the people that has come back and like and subscribe in my new upcomer. So that is what's up. And I hope that you raised your vibration by watching my videos. And I'll see you later, Gator.